I'm Kyle with Rhino, and I want to show you how to set up Arc and how it works with Rhino Motion. Now to start, we're going to take the Arc unit itself and spin it onto the carriage. And for this first initial setup, we need to get the front of Arc facing ourselves so that we can plug it into Motion. To do that, we're going to use this hex wrench and loosen the set screws with the white laser engraving around them. And we're just gonna spin it so that the screen and the icons are facing you and tighten them back up. Now, you only have to do this on initial setup. Now, every time you take arc off your slider and put it back on, it'll spin to exactly the same spot. Most of our customers don't even take off motion or arc after they get it onto their slider. So the next step is that we actually wanna make a connection between arc and motion so they can communicate to each other. So to do that, we're gonna use the included cable, plug it into the controller icon on arc itself, and plug it into Rhino Motion's intervalometer port on the side. Next, we're gonna power on Rhino Arc, press and hold the power button for three seconds. Rhino Arc's default state is called not paired, and it just means that it's not talking to Rhino Motion. Now, to get that into a paired state, we're gonna go into Rhino Motion, go into Settings, and turn Arc on. Now the state on Rhino Arc should say Paired, and you're ready to create a move. Before we actually create a move, I wanna give you a couple tips and tricks on how to set up Arc. Arc is a horizontal panning device, and it needs to be level. To do that, ensure your slider is level. If your slider is not level, you can actually put a ball head in between your carriage and arc to make sure that arc is panning horizontally. Now to set it up with a ball head, simply screw your ball or your fluid head on top of arc. Now when I'm tightening this down, you want to make sure to hold on to the top plate. Again, this ensures that we don't put undue stress on the gearing inside of Rhino Arc. We'll attach our camera. Now we're ready to shoot and set up a move. To set up an arc move, we're gonna go into live motion, turn with the slide, and calibrate our slider. And once we get into the actual setup screen, it's gonna ask us to turn the wheel to point the camera. Now there are three different types of moves we can set up here. We can do a move like I'm doing right now, which is called a tracking type shot, where on one end of the slider, we focus in on a subject, and the other end of the slider, we turn the wheel, and we focus on the same subject. Now, any position that I put my slider in turn with the slide is gonna track. You can do this for product shots and interviews. Now, that's not all that Arc can do. For a time lapse, you can set up a sweeping shot. Instead of tracking, we can do a panorama, where we start at the left side of our frame. And then at the end of our frame, we're gonna point the camera all the way to the other side. So now it's going to sweep in the frame and set a track on a certain shot. Now, in every mode in Rhino Motion, so turn with a slide, create a move, simple time lapse, advanced time lapse, you get the same arc setup screen. So you create a move with arc, and then you choose how you want the linear motion to map it. If you have any other questions about Rhino Arc or how to set it up, please email support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.